Welcome to the first episode of Sandwich Stories. Let's take a bite into the news. The bread's gone stale, so it took me so long to start this that like that was like really hard to swallow. That took a really long time. All right, so my name is Darbin Lindborg, and I'm here to bring you the news. This week, there's a ton of top stories and a lot of drama that happened, and a lot of it was really weird. But you know what? I'm gonna cover it anyways, because this is the first week, and this is what I wrote down. Yeah! So the first big story, everyone's been talking about it, everyone kind of knows about it, but I'm gonna bring it up anyways, because, I don't know, a lot of people aren't that educated on the topic, and I mean, I'm not really either, but I'm Darbin Lindborg, so, alright. Our first story today is Kanye and Kim getting a divorce. There's been a lot of speculation following this. You know, it, it, the one thing we know officially is that they are getting a divorce, but the thing a lot of people don't know is it's trending, it's trending on Twitter right now, but a lot of people think that Kanye cheated on Kim with Jeffree Star, known uh, beauty guru guy, man, that uh, he does beauty, and yeah. So uh, the person that broke the news on this was Ava Luis on TikTok, who said, like, oh, yeah, Kanye and Kim have been doing this blah, 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 it's all over L.A. And she, like, had an anonymous source, and she didn't cite anything, had no proof of this, and Kanye has not made a statement, and Jeffree Star didn't really, like, accept it or whatever. So, I don't know, kind of weird. But the, w the weirdest part about this story is Jeffree was in Wisconsin with, like, at the same time as Kanye when, like, this news broke, and he made a tweet about Sunday service, which is like a reference to Kanye West's Sunday service that he holds near there, where they both were near. And it's kind of weird, but there is no proof. I don't know anything more than that, but it's just really weird. So Kim and Kanye, Kimye is dead, and I guess we know what Kanye was going to do with all that power. What, what do you have to say about this, Darth Vader? The force is with you. The force is with Kanye. Okay. All right. So the second, second big story we're going to talk about today is another story everyone knows, and it's, it's definitely a United States story. I mean, if you wouldn't count Kim Ye as United States, but um, yeah. So a group of Trump supporters, you know, they, t they marched up to the U.S. Capitol, and they were met with little resistance and got into, like, the Capitol building, which is literally insane. Like... I don't know, there was like Black Lives Matter protests that happened not too long ago, and like the police force was like on top of it, like ready for it, you know, I don't know. And it just, it was pretty crazy that they were able to get into the building, and some, some of the protesters like took videos with the cops and stuff, like friendly videos, and it was like kind of strange. But now it's like the, the story has like begun to evolve, like it, there was a person that got shot by the police that ended up dying. Sorry, I... I went through and I recorded the rest of this video and I came back to look at the footage and it cut me off halfway through. So I'm, this is my second time going through, so sorry if I sound a little bit jumbled up because I kind of lost where I was. But the last thing I said was that someone did get shot and yes, they died from their wounds. And yeah, I don't know, just the, it's just a really bad situation for everyone involved and I just, I don't know, I feel that people need to move on with with their lives and just like, I don't know. I couldn't imagine being this outraged by like, you not getting your candidate into office. I mean, I don't know, it's crazy. It's just another presidency, you'll live. So another top story this week that is kind of old news, but like really epic for just humanity in general is they made a Corona vaccine, epic. <laughs> And I just have a, a list of, like, celebrities and politicians. Well, they're basically all politicians beside one. But just a list of some epic people that, like, got the vaccine. Yeah! So first up was the man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Anthony Fauci. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. The director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease. He's, he's like, the lead COVID guy, and he got the vaccine. So, you know, that's kind of good good reassuring you know and then future president joe biden got it along with vice president kamala o'harris 
and my former vice, well, about to be former vice president, Mike Pence, got it as well. And just, just to throw a little spice in there, I added Woo! the great British Bake Off judge, Prue Leith. He got it too. Just in case you were wondering who Prue Leith was, he's the great uh, British Bake Off judge. Yeah, definitely watch that. All right. All right. So, the fourth big story this week is another kind of disheartening story about Carson King, better known as Call Me Carson on YouTube. He landed himself in hot waters for, I put, dealings with minors because there's not too many details on it, but from the majority of what I've heard, Twitter user Def Noodles put, Serious, Call Me Carson exposed for allegedly sexting underage fans. And this sparked a lot of Twitter outrage as Call Me Carson planned to take a step back to work on his mental health too. And when all this came out, he said he was gonna take another step back and he would get better because he made mistakes, blah, blah, blah. And people took this as him like still having dealings with these minors and like trying to work it out. I don't know, kind of weird instead of just like cutting them off or like, I don't know, spooky lawsuit time basically. As of now, a girl named Sam came out and said that these allegations were true. So, I don't know. Any insights, Darth Vader? Carson was sleeping. You sound like Carson. All I have to say about this topic is that it's hard to see someone that you were a fan of or someone in that place to like hearing that they do something like this. Like you, you want to have deniability and you want to deny it and you want to like hope for the best. But I don't know. It's kind of weird. I just, I just hope everyone that was afflicted by this situation is okay, and that the best for everyone. And I just want to be like, hey guys, stop being weird, come on, just like, make funny content. Yeah, the age gap, the age gap is a problem, but like, the, the bigger underlying problem is just people of power, like having influence over people with not, I, I don't know, people with no influence, and just taking advantage of them. That's the messed up part of it. That's the messed up part of fame and wealth. Capitalism. So after all that horrible news of Kim Ye breaking up and Call Me Carson being exposed and the US Capitol being nay nayed on, um, our last story of the day is something a little, something a little epic. And it's about uh, two grandparents were uh, finally able to hug their grandchildren after nine months of quarantining themselves because of coronavirus restrictions. and. They bought uh, these inflatable polar bear suits that uh, they were able to hug their grandchildren with. And that's super epic. And I'm really glad that they got to do that. What do you have to say about that, Darth Vader? You don't know the power of the dark side. Yeah! All right. Well, thank you for watching. And I hope you guys have an epic day. And now, yeah! Bye bye I'm Darbin Lindborg signing off. Peace. I want to add this on to the U.S. Capitol story. Apparently, some guy stole Nancy Pelosi's lectern and was auctioning it off for over $100,000 on the internet, which I don't know if it got shut down or not. I can't find, I can't find anything else. It was on eBay for a few hours and people were bidding on it. It's literally insane. And of course, of course, everyone thinks it's a Florida man. That is so funny. This Florida man wanted wanted some money. I mean, hey. What do you have to say about that, Darth Vader? Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs>